Setting Retention Policies To ensure that evidence is deleted when it's no longer required, you can configure retention periods for cases and files that are in the recycle bin. You can also configure retention periods to automatically delete files based on the source or category. Digital evidence can be stored in accordance with the requirements of the incident. The incident category of the case will be used to determine the retention policy. For example, if our city policies dictate that evidence from vandalism cases needs to be kept for 180 days, we can set the retention period for the vandalism category for that length of time, and it will apply for any cases that use the vandalism category. The length of time evidence can be kept can also be based on the device type that is associated with the recordings. For example, body-worn camera video could be kept for 90 days, whereas public surveillance video could be kept for 30 days. If a file is associated with a case, it inherits the retention policy of the case. If the file retention policy is longer than the case retention, then the file retention policy is used. Be careful when modifying retention policies, as this can result in permanent loss of file data or automatic deletion of files. Please note that a file will only be deleted if all cases associated with the file are closed. Any files without a category will use the categories of associated cases if applicable. The longest source or category retention policy will be used. Closing and reopening cases also affects the file retention period. For example, when a closed case is reopened, the scheduled deletion date for associated files is changed back to the original value if the files are not in the recycle bin. To set the retention periods, click on the Configurations tab on the left, and then click on Retention Policies. The first parameter to set is the number of days to keep deleted files in the recycle bin before they are purged. This value must be between 1 and 365 days. The second section in this tab is to set the retention period for files based on the source, either added manually by a user, transferred from a body-worn camera, or from an unknown source. We can choose not to delete these types of files or set a retention period in days or years. We can keep files for a maximum of 100 years or 36,500 days. Below we have a section that lists all the categories we have created on the service. We can set a retention period for each specific category, again in days or years, and we have the option to never delete the files in this category as well. Once you have made any changes required to any of the values, click on the Save button on the bottom of the page. Click Cancel to revert to any previous values if needed. Anytime you change a value and click on the Save button, it will warn you that making changes to the retention policy may result in a loss of data and ask you to confirm the change and save. Once the changes have been saved, you can view or search the recycle bin to identify any cases or files that might be affected by the retention period changes. For example, if you change the retention period for the recycle bin, some files could be permanently deleted. If you change the file retention period by source or category, some files could be automatically deleted and end up in the recycling bin as well. Cases and files that have been automatically deleted remain available in the recycle bin for the specified retention period. All deleted cases or files can be restored while they're in the recycle bin.